pesquisa. Military personnel will be fired from 
Great consensus talk among us. I'm not the only one. I didn't bring this up. And I said, good. You know, I can tell. One nation under God. We all know it. That's the way our children know it. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I'll get everybody all right. in Thank you. Okay. This is our country. Yes. No one's going to take this country yes. from us. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Save us from violence 
discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties, as stated in the Constitution, and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought here out of many kindreds and many tongues. And do with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that for mindful abeyance to your laws, we may show forth the praise among all the nations of the earth in the time of prosperity fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the days of trouble, tr suffer not our trust in you to fail. All of which we ask through the Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless America. Yes. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Woo! All right, thank you all for doing that. I want to say a couple of things about our government, okay? We've got a big problem here. It's called illegal immigration. That's right. Yes. yes. We have laws in the country. That's right. It's called immigration and naturalization. It is a process that takes some time and takes some study. The people who do that are proud of themselves because they've gone through the process. And when they raise the right hand to allegiance to our country, it means something to them. Right now, it's like a slap in the face of those folks. We've got people coming across the border at will. I went down to Laredo, Texas twice. I walked across the Rio Grande unimpeded. I saw things that are worse than what you see on television, on your Facebook, on the computer, wherever you go, it's worse than that. I promise you, so help me God, because I saw it twice. The Border Patrol gave me four guards because there was a bomb threat against me just going down to my Texas. I told those guys, this is our country. This is our Texas. And we're never going to give it up to anyone. We will fight. There are 50 million patriots who are master gunners. Remember the Alamo. Ever. Nope. Now, let me say something about our illegal uh, immigration and about our Veterans Administration. You know about the, uh, the problems with the VA? Yeah, that one's acting on. You all know about the problems at the VA. There you yeah. go. That Veterans can't awesome. get appointments, they can't get procedures, <laughs> all of that kind of stuff. Well, yes, guess sir. what? To illegal aliens, we owe yeah. nothing, nothing. 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 nothing to our veterans. We owe, we owe everything. 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 Now, let's talk about the money. Our president wanted to send a billion dollars to Crimea. Guess what? Crimea is not our problem. It's not I in agree. the Constitution. All right. Then he wanted to send two billion dollars to the Ukraine. Then he wanted three point seven million billion dollars to deal with illegal immigration, and another five billion to fight ISIS. And he's the guy that started that mess. Yep. Okay. He's taking your money and throwing it around. Now the Constitution says he cannot do that. In Article Two, Section Three of the Constitution, to, uh, the Constitution, he must uphold the law. He is not upholding the law. Therefore, he is guilty of treason. Right. Hang the traitor! The President of the United States is guilty of treason to the Constitution. Treason! And the Congress does not have the moral fortitude or the guts to stand up against him because they're afraid they will be called racist or something else like that. Okay? I'm not afraid of that. I don't think of you are. No, 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 sir. Are you afraid? No. no. Are you afraid of your government? No. no. Our government should be afraid of us. Yes. yes. We are the people. Yes. Obama's a traitor. He's an immigrant. You mean Barry Satoro? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is his name. I've seen no documentation of his change. So his name is Barry Satoro. With the fake Social Security and the fake birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell you something about Barry Satoro. I've got a copy from a confidential source in these papers. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
of the British Empire. So why is he our president? Exactly. He's a puppet. I can't answer that. that. Should not be here. No, There's should a not. lot of stuff. Hang the traitor! Yeah! <laughs> Joked about it yesterday. Hey, let me. No, let me talk to you about Second Amendment. Really? All right. Oh yeah. Now, this one part of. Do not infringe today. Not understand. Exactly. Him and Michael don't belong here. All right, here you go. Michael. Oh. Second Amendment. Moose A well-regulated militia. Michael to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not, not be afraid. Now right. what don't they, they don't what understand part? about that? That's pretty simple. I've yeah. got a bunch of weapons that I own. I've got a permit. I've been through a background check. I've had training, practical examination, personal examination. As long as we do all that stuff, we have the right to bear arms. And I've got a yes. bunch of quotes from past What's presidents, that? including the great man, George Washington, who was firmly for citizens keeping guns. Right. Right. In addition to him, Sam Adams also, Thomas Jefferson, John Kennedy in the 60s said that. So the Second Amendment is not negotiable. We will never give up our guns. Now I'm from Tennessee, and I can tell you that in Sequatchie County, Tennessee, we will not give up our guns. Period. Yeah. 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 They will not enforce that order. They will not. Our brothers and sisters in the five service branches will never fire upon us, and we will never fire upon them. We will join together and overthrow this thing in accordance with the Constitution if right. that's necessary. Am I right? Yes! yes. yes. All right. What else do I got? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, we, we didn't plan on it exactly like this, but... Uh, You're doing just fine. Yeah. You got it, trying. brother. Trying. You can't do any wrong. <laughs> Perhaps a little closer to that microphone when you speak. Yeah. Right in your mouth. Okay, you can right. Okay, folks, I want to talk about money again, okay? Because the bottom line is it comes down to the money. It's your tax money. The Tenth Amendment to the Constitution is a states' rights amendment. It says that anything not belonging to the United States belongs to the states or the people. Yes, sir. Now, if you would repeat this after me, now use your name, obviously. So I, 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 do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, do swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that means you too! That I will bear true faith yeah. allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. Really? Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me the Christian God. So help me the Christian God. All right, I put the Christian God in there. That's special. All right. Now, having said these two things, and I've got a bunch more, I don't want to take all your time. I'm going to say something. Today is the 10th of December, 2014. And I think we need to declare on this day we establish that this Constitution of ours has a domestic enemy. It is called the President of the United States and the Congress. They are our domestic enemy and we declare them that. December 10th, 2012. Public enemy number one! Yes. So, what do you say to that? Can you give me a hoorah? As loud as you can! Hoorah! Louder! Louder! Hoorah! I think the next time we come back right, it's with pitchforks and torches, <laughs> tar and feathers, we ought to bring that back, tar and feathers, because they would tar and pitchfork feathers on the set it on fire. Sam and they are scheduled to go in at 1 o'clock. <laughs> to testify before Congress about the crimes that they have witnessed. And basically they're going to tell Congress that they have arrested murderers, rapists, kidnappers, child molesters, illegal aliens, only to have the DHS come and tell them, let them go. 
And this is why they're here today. Why would over 200 sheriffs come from all over the United States? Because they're fed up with this lawlessness. So, you don't have to go there, but I'm going to go down there. A few of us are going to go down there. We're going to go down to the Russell Senate Building. It's not far from here. And they'll, they will, I'm going to try and be there by 1230, 1245 at the latest. They're going to go in at 1 and then there's going to be a press conference from 2 to 3 o'clock. A press conference where I believe there's going to be media there. Hopefully. So just to let you know, that's what we're up to. No. Thank you. Follow us. I'm going. There's a conciliatory prayer I want to go through. Is it close enough to walk to? I don't know. Where's Diana now? Diana Martin, I don't care. Hey, can I say something on camera? Can you hear me? I got my Bible, my Constitution, my gun, and I'm an American. Leave me alone. I want what I own, and I want what's mine, and I'm taking it. My country first. My fellow Americans, my brothers and sisters. That's enough said. Thank you. Good man. How about you? I'm an American and I'm damn proud. You better listen to me nice and loud. I'm an American. Who are we? Same kind of people who done, dump the uh, tea. Some of the constitutional stuff. We're going to have a person that I've been working on a lot of people to find them to try and start to shoot. So we get the White House and the White House and we're going to have everyone to the jail and say, we are American. And then I can have two things to do with you, too. I just want to individually do it. And then we're going to say, we are American. We build it. We fight for it. We pay for it. We live in our country. Don't give it to say that with everybody so that they uh, get on that. Your call on the South Bowl, their magnetic polarity is changed. So you have got the, the whole ride this past year. So and it's up on YouTube. So I can tell those guys all about it here and try to help support
the men there. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how they died. Because the White House is not going to tell you how they died. No. I have the pictures. I know how they died. They were cattle prodded. They were raped. They were burned. They were cut. They were beaten to death. For seven hours, numerous requests came in for help. They were denied. There was a general that was going to go in anyway. He was relieved of duty. Now, I hold the president complicit for that. That's what we were just saying. I have to my fingers are going. for assistance. Now, I mentioned the Second Amendment earlier about guns. I want to tell you what George Washington said about guns. A free people ought not only be armed and disciplined, but they should have sufficient arms and ammunition to maintain a status of independence from any white harm or attempt to abuse them, which would include their own government. That was General Washington. All right, now I'm going to quote Samuel Adams. The Constitution shall never be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceable citizens from keeping their own arms. Samuel Adams said that one. Mark Twain said this, patriotism is supporting your country all the time and your government when it deserves it. It doesn't deserve it now. Okay, now this is Thomas Jefferson. No free man shall ever be debarred from the use of arms. The strongest reason for this, for the people to retain the right to keep arms, is the last resort to protect themselves against tyranny and government. And finally, John Kennedy. Hey guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now here's what, here's what John Kennedy said about uh, our Today, we need a nation of Minutemen, citizens who are not only prepared to take arms, but citizens who regard the preservation of freedom as the basic purpose of their daily life and who are willing to consciously work and sacrifice for that freedom. Are you willing to consciously work and sacrifice for that freedom? That is the question. Yes. 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 Louder. Yes. Yes. And who are we? Americans. Free America. 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 All right. Free America. We, free America. Free America. we are free Americans. We built that house. That's your house. It's not the president's house. It's the people's house. All right. Now we are Americans. We are Americans. Three weeks ago, we can be on this side. When it comes to the narcissistic nitty nincompoop sitting over there being all sanctimonious and stupid, he can say anything he wants at any time he wants, and we just have to accept it. When we were here three weeks ago, they made you move that off of this sidewalk right here at that line post. Look, they made us move last time we were here. They made us move. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen your Denise yet. Try to get it to everybody. Proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died, he gave that right to me. And I'm glad we stand up next to you and thank you to this day. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA.
longer to this day. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. president is guilty of treason. The president is a coward. The president is a liar. The president is a traitor. And we want him impeached. Now the Congress, they don't have the moral fortitude to do it. They're afraid of him. And it's time to stop this. So we're going to keep this going. We're going to have more rallies back here. And we're going to get more organized. We didn't get all the things done today that we wanted to. And that's okay. It was our first uh, experience here doing it this, this way. But I think you saw the uh, emotion from the crowd. I think everybody in the country feels this way. You know, the, the, the Congress has a disapproval rating of 94%. Uh, the president has an approval rating of 39%. So what do you do with that kind of stuff? You remove them. So that's what we want. That's why I'm here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Thank you, sir. Three cases. Come on, Blaine. Blaine. Look this way. Come on, y'all. Three. One, two, three. Three cases. Yes, yes. Hi, Riverside. Oh, yeah. Hi, Riverside. Hi, Riverside. Hi, Mark. Hi, uh, Sergeant. Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I hear us? 
Oh my gosh, hi. Six. Are you guys Mark? Turn around and pay attention to it. I'm going to say just spin around and give me some cleanse, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Get us. One, two, three, two. I don't know if I'll let you take two. You got to I usually try to take two just to make sure. That's fine. Okay. Blaine has a picture of all of them. Blaine, you want your picture, man? So, what are you guys walking down that way anyway? I'm not. I'm going to McDonald's. If I ever get there. There's a McDonald's down that way. Is it? How far? Down by this. I'm here to tell you, I'm proud to be an American. And I'm here to support the sheriffs and uh, their discrepancy with the amnesty deal. They, they kind of agree with us and we kind of agree with them. So I am an American. I'm here to represent my American patriotic beliefs, my heritage, in support of fixing the, fixing the country's problems. I am an American. I'm an American. We, we are, are Americans. Americans. of the uh, amendment, of the Fourth Amendment of our Constitution. And Dr. Bob, would you like to speak as well? Regarding? Uh, what we think about our president. He's our domestic, he's a public enemy. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's a question of the Constitution. And if you read this Constitution, you find out that the laws are being broken. For example, uh, the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution is a state's rights issue. And the government has no authority to create, for instance, the Department of Education. So we can get rid of the Department of Education. As far as the illegal immigration problem we have, that is also against the law because of Section 2, Part 3 of the Constitution, it says the President must take care to implement the laws passed by the Congress. He's bypassing the laws. That is a treasonous act, and he should be uh, tried for treason and impeached. Now, as far as the money, He's spending money on countries that either hate us, don't like us, or don't care at all. So he's taking our money for that. And then there's abortion. Since 1973, we have murdered, state-sanctioned murder, 57 million fetuses. That is a fetal uh, homicide rate of unbelievable proportions. As a matter of fact, we, we kill more babies than die from cancer, okay, and that die from heart attacks. So we've got so many problems, it's hard to pick the first one, but you have to attack some problems. But money, let me talk about money. The president wanted to send a billion dollars to Crimea. A billion dollars. It's hard to get your head around that much money. Where I live in Tennessee, I have a county, it's called Warren County, and they need some repairs to their armory. Two million dollars worth of repairs. Two million dollars against a billion dollars is point zero zero two thousandths of a billion dollars. Okay, that's all we want, it's two million dollars. But Apparently, Korea is more important. I'm sorry, Crimea is more important. That's none of our business under the law. Same way with the Ukraine. None of our business. The Constitution was made for this country in America. It wasn't made for the Ukraine. It wasn't made for Crimea. It wasn't made for Pakistan or Mexico or anyone else. Now, I've been down to Laredo, Mexico, I'm sorry, Texas twice to look at the situation of uh, illegal immigration and what you see on TV and on the Facebook and on the internet, all that stuff, I am here to tell you, so help me God, that it's worse than that. Now, so why is it a problem? We have 317 million people in this country, 45 million of which are on welfare, 47 million of which children have augmented lunches or breakfast or dinner or all three. So we can't take care of our own people without giving 11 more uh, million, which is about a 3% increase, plus or minus. So what will we do with them? Who will educate them? Where will they be housed? Who will feed them? Some of them are children without parents. So um, in talking with the small town of Lynn, Massachusetts, which is north of Boston, they had an increase of 44% in their students, for example. They can't handle that. And now they have a language problem. It ate up their entire city bu budget, and now they have no money for it. 
So the president is doing things that are clearly in violation of the Constitution. There is no question. Now, the, co the, the Congress lacks the moral fortitude. They lack the courage. The Congress is a coward. So I'm going to say something pretty direct here. The Congress and the president are cowards. The president is a liar, and he is guilty of treason. And he needs to be persecuted under the Constitution. Now, the people have the right to disestablish this government. But there are so many problems. I'll mention another one. The Internal Revenue Service. We pay almost 50% of our taxes, uh, of our money on taxes. If we can't run this government on one-sixth of the gross national product, well, we got a lot bigger problems than that. So, so you can see what's happening. As far as our debt, we owe 17 or 18 trillion dollars. When President Soe Tiro from Kenya took over, that guy, and I have his birth certificate, by the way, um, we were three or four trillion in debt. Well, now we're 17 or 18. So it seems like every other week there's another uh, scandal of some kind, and it's out. Uh, it's like he's out to get America. Uh, how any reaction of uh, President in your protest? I'm sorry. Say again, please. Uh, what is the reaction of President in your protest? Well, I think the president is ignoring us out here, actually, and we were pushed away from the, the curb here. I think that the officers were given an order to move us back. That's just my opinion, okay? Because we weren't causing any problem. Now, we had a pretty good turnout. I think Americans are passionate about this. Let me say this also. The Congress has a disapproval rating of 94%. That means if you walk around here, you can find six out of 100 people that are say, saying, hey, yay, Congress, you're doing a great job. I don't believe that. I really don't. Now, as far as the president's approval rating, 39% approval rating. That means our country did. I think he's doing a horrible job. I think he's doing a horrible job. He is hurting our country baby step by baby step by baby step. He's tearing it down. The uh, moral foundations. And uh, I, I think that's all I have to say for right now. Any other questions? Oh, I do have something that I'd like to say about Mr. Putin. Where are you from? From Ukraine. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, are you on? Uh, yeah, tell yeah. me when you're on. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's on. Okay. It's on. It's right. As far as uh, the President of the United States' leadership abilities, I'd like to say this about Mr. Putin of Russia. I would rather have Mr. Putin as my president in this country than I would the guy who works in that building over there. Okay. I think he's more straightforward. He's very clear on his expectations of his people. Uh, I think he's doing the best job he can. Now, the issues with the Ukraine, you know, again, it's questionable whether that's our business or not. It is not the United States' job to save the world. Now, although we did that in the last century twice, World War I and World War II. So, uh, I wanted to compliment uh, Mr. Putin on his leadership skills. Okay, thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.